Hey, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Rekakadash. It's all praises to the world cause God, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh. Ba'ashem in the name of Yahweh Shai, being the name of the only begotten Son. Also, I want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the hopeful like preaching, word and truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Tazabah, the Great Millstone, in Arizona Camp, Lord Will, with another video to edify. And uh, I wanted to make a response uh, to the Elder Apostle uh, Tahar's video talking about uh, Kamala and what she meant by the statement, right? And I'm a, I'll play it. I know the Elder didn't play it. I ain't got no following like he got, so it ain't gonna hurt. Let me get it. unburdened by what has been you know? and, and, and you got to watch everything she's doing right the other spoke about you know people use body language to spot to speak it's not just the hands and for brothers that have been watching and understand what the end game is you can see what they're planning now what can be unburdened by what has been 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 what we can see what we believe can be unburdened by what has been what can be unburdened by what has been what can be unburdened by what has been what can be unburdened by what has been who we can be unburdened by who we have been what can be unburdened by what has been where we can be unburdened by where we have been and unburdened by where we are right now what can be and this is what, what she missed can up. Be. right been. you know what can be unburdened by what has been Watch it. what can be unburdened by what has been what can see, that was where it was when she had the gloves on By what has she quickly pointed up that is what has been right talking about the heavenly father and what they want to have be done that's going to be unburdened by whatever they want to set up which is the new world order All right this is job 21 i'll get this one you know what i gotta get one first man This is, um, oh, yeah, this is, uh, the Psalms. Proverbs chapter 6. Because this is what they do, right? Proverbs 6 and 13 says, uh, I'll start at 12. A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with, with a forward mouth. He winketh with his eyes. He speaketh with his feet. He teacheth with his fingers. And that's what she was doing in the video. She's showing you exactly what she really means, because that's a very vague statement. And that's those are words for the initiated in their in their in their platform. The goals that they want to push forward. Those are words for them. Where they want a future that's unburdened by the Lord's spirit in this earth. It says um foreignness is in his heart. He divides the mischief. Continually, he sowed discord, and that's what it is. They want to set up a world according to them. Remember, the scriptures talk about he said it in the place of the most high, showing that he is a God, right? Him being unburdened with the things of the scriptures, like the scriptures say, he casted the word behind his back. 
And that's what she's talking about. We're their gods, right? Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Um, suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. You see? Now, the other scripture I really wanted to get, and this is uh, Job 21. And it says, uh, I'll start at 7. It says, Wherefore do the wicked live, become old? Yeah, are mighty in power. Right? Their seed is established in their sight, in their sight with them, and their offspring before their eyes. Meaning these devils are able to sit here and propagate an entire bloodline, live deliciously, set up an everlasting rulership through their children. So this is them. This is who it's talking about. The so-called white man, he's the chief of those that are able to do that in the earth. It says their houses are safe from fear. When you look going to anywhere these Edomites live, it's, they ain't really getting hit by war. They're not, but they're gonna. Their houses are safe from fear. Neither is, is the rod of the Most High upon them. It says they build, uh, their bull gendereth and felleth not. Their cow cleaveth, uh, cleaveth or calveth. And casted not her her calf, meaning they're flowing in wealth. You go into Job, Job flowed in wealth because of what? He had the cattle. He had a lot of livestock. So when your bull gendereth, you're always bringing forth new livestock, which is growth and wealth. It says they send forth their little ones like a flock in their children dance. They take the timbrel and harp and rejoice at the sound of the organ. They spread their days in wealth. They spend their days in wealth. And in a moment go down to the grave. These devils get to live out their entire lives in pleasure. It says, therefore, they shall say unto the Most High, depart from us. For we desire not the knowledge of, of thy ways. And that's what she's implementing. She's saying that right there. Right? What could be unburdened by what, what has been. Right? There they want to fully depart and just cast the Lord out of the earth. Therefore, they verse 14 again, it says, Therefore they say unto the Most High, Depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. What is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? And this is what they're doing. You see? This is what they're doing. That's what that statement is really alluding to casting the word of the Lord away and coming forth with this new system, this new way of life. This is a uh, the Second Thessalonians two and um, three. It says, "Let no man deceive you by any means." For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. Talking about 70 AD, right? That was the falling away when Israel had to fl uh, flee into all these other countries, right? And Jake was just destroyed under the heathen's hands after, after that period, right? It says, and that no, it says, and that man of sin be revealed, talking about Esau, Edom. The son of perdition who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High. And you can see that through his law. I mean, they just had the Olympics. And uh, their ceremony was was a, a mockery of the Lord's Last Supper. Right? They're opposing themselves against all that is the Lord, man. Or that is worship so that he as the Most High sitteth in the temple of the Most High showing himself that he is. God, and that's what this is. There's nothing more than that. She's detailing that they're going to have something that's not going to be unburdened. That's not going to be burdened by the Lord. All right. But you go back to, back to that video. That's really what she was talking about, man. So Lord willing to edifying. Hey, keep an eye out. The Lord is going to foil these devil's plans. Shalom.